A large part of the Victorian Eastbourne Pier has been destroyed by fire. It's thought to have broken out behind wooden panelling in an arcade, but spread rapidly. 80 firefighters tackled the fire at its height, no one injured. Sky's Ashish Joshi reports from Eastbourne. A landmark in this East Sussex seaside town for more than 140 years. Eastbourne Pier consumed by a ferocious blaze. The town's promenade shrouded in acrid, thick smoke. The flames took hold in the middle of the afternoon, starting in the wall panelling of a games arcade before rapidly spreading through the pier's main building. Amateur photos and footage captured the speed with which the fire tore through the structure, watched by dozens of tourists lining the resort's beaches at the height of summer. Eastbourne was very, very calm. The people that were here, and there was lots of them on my side, very, very calm, very, very organised. Um, the emergency services done an absolutely fantastic job this afternoon. But it was really calm and quite eerie. Very, very calm. The speed of the evacuation within minutes of the blaze starting to take hold ensured that the flames claimed no casualties. As many as 80 firefighters battled the flames at its peak, with lifeboats called in from nearby towns to help boost the forces' efforts from the sea. Pier fires are notoriously difficult to fight, and sadly, many pier fires result in the total destruction of the pier. Uh, our crews here have done a fantastic job today. As you can see over the shoulder, uh, we've managed to save, again, quite a bit of the pier. It's almost nine o'clock in the evening, six hours later, and the flames are still burning. There are dozens of firefighters here trying to put out this fire, but the structure is really dangerous. Every so often, parts of it gives way. For now, the police say they don't think the fire was started suspiciously, but it leaves another seaside town without its favorite landmark. Eastbourne Pier, now a twisted and singed ruin on the English coast. Ashish Joshi Sky News, Eastbourne.